I'm Chad Cleveland. I'm an artist and art teacher. I have an affinity for classical art as well as contemporary uh, pop art, so I can kind of see the fusion of those worlds happening in a lot of my portraits. It's a very organic process. Uh, I really don't have any end result in mind. It's very go with the flow. I big fan of improvisational music, so I would like to say that my art is very much along those lines. It kind of might start with an eyeball or a mouth or a nose and the painting kind of evolves from there and it becomes an experience and a journey really. I don't think I'm thinking about the audience so much. I'm kind of just drawing from my own experience of uh, how I register what I see visually or what I experience in the world. I think the way it comes out is it's this big mess of eyes and you know noses and mouths. Everything's not so still in my mind. It's just moving and I'm you know in life we're, we're hearing sounds. You know a bird flies overhead you turn your head you look at the bird and then you know someone says something to you uh, you know from another direction and then you're looking over there so a lot of these things are happening so fast and it's the way I interpret the world I suppose and it's the way I put it back together into an image. I think that's the freedom of being an artist. It's getting out of your comfort zone and putting something where it shouldn't be. It's, it's taking the fragility of the human form and uh, turning that upside down. I'm always interested in the play between light and shadow and how that philosophically plays out with what's going on in my mind when I paint. A lot of friends and people that come across my artwork say, your, your paintings are kind of dark, they're kind of strange and weird, and I'm like, they are, and, they're, and then also you can see, you know, things like uh, nature popping out of it. One thing that drew me to becoming an artist was, was nature. I loved hiking and taking walks in the woods and just being drawn to the, the contrast in nature and, and the journey of taking a hike in the woods. And it's that, that journey that, you know, taking your painting for a walk in the woods and, and you know, taking that, you know, that fork in the road, that unexpected trail leads to, you know, some pretty exciting places most of the time. It's tough. You get to a point in a painting where it feels good, it's in a nice state. And this would be a great place to stop right here. Let's just call it quits, this is it. Ready to move on to the next one. I always question that moment. You know, you get to this, this place of comfort, but what happens if I go beyond this? What happens if I take this, this beautiful section of this painting that I, I think is in a good state? What if I just, you know, keep painting over it and take it to another place? What might happen? That's that's pretty exciting stuff for a guy like me.